Hello, this is Roman from 7 Pace, and in the next 8 or so minutes I will walk you through the 7 Pace template that you can install and use. Uh, but to use it you actually have to do some setup yourself because for example integration recipes require you to select the columns uh, from the start. It doesn't work out of the box. Uh, good. Let's start by adding a template. I just add a template, choose seven pace, if I can write properly. And for demonstration purposes, let's create completely new workspace. Good, my workspace is finished. If you want, you can just move some of these uh, boards so that they are um, somehow logically ordered because we don't have influence uh, about regarding the order here. Uh, once you're done, uh, we can start with the setup. Uh, let's start with item view. Good news here is that you don't have to do anything to make the item view work in. It works out of the box. So this is done. Uh, you can try adding time here to see if it works. And I can see that time was saved, so it does. Next, let's continue with integration recipes. If you check board integrations, you will find the seven base integrations here, but they are not working because we have to choose the correct fields. We want to synchronize the time that is tracked with seven base with hours spent column so that the template works as intended. So I'll just choose the field and turn the integration on. I have to do the same for sub items and I have to do the same for all boards uh, where I used to uh, where I want to use this integration. However, to make this video shorter, I will just set this up for this one board. So again, hours spent, update integration and turn it on. That's it. Let's check if it works. I will add another hour to this item because I already tracked one, right? So I will track a second one and I should see two hours here, which is good. Let's check if it works also for sub items. So I don't know, maybe even, even four hours here. All right, I see four hours here. I see six hours here. So everything works, works as intended. All right. Uh, if you saw the previous video or check the workspace, oh, sorry, this is a wrong template. Oh, this is the right template. I let me just rename it so that it's not mixed. Um, where is it here? Seven base test. All right, good. Uh, so if you check the video, you could probably see dashboards and how rates are automatically used or calculated in um, the board with exported time tracking data. But this export is only an example to make it really live and working. You have to do the first export yourself. We call this copy to board and you start it or you run it by going to all times. Let me just choose some narrower time frame so that we have a limited set of data. You click copy to board. Uh, the wizard will just guide you through the process. Good, that was quick. Let's check the results. This looks good. However, uh, if you compare with the example you may miss the matched person, matched rate, which is important for calculation of the budget spent together with, uh, like, yeah, by multiplying the number of hours with matched rate. To make it working, I need to at least assign myself 
to myself here in people because the matching is done via uh, persons and or by matching persons uh, from here to this column to make this work in I need to add the automation this is fairly quick I use Monday match functionality for this I will start with this column changes uh, and sorry I actually have to first create the respective fields so let me do that mm, I want to connect boards I need to connect this board to people in 7 base test template this is this one and I also want to create a mirrored column with rate this is done and then I need to calculate the spent budget and this is done by multiplying of uh, the rate with total logged hours maybe let's use some better naming so this is a matched person this is matched rate and this is budget spent okay good uh, let me just check whether this is named the same way it is all right so now we can start with with the automation again I use match and I need to add two automations to make this work in so let's start with this one I need to select people from this workspace and whenever person changes I want to actually connect this item with the respective person in people board and get the matched rate uh, I want to do this by overwriting this is set up uh, then let's add new automation this is actually sorry this is actually the more important one so whenever an item is created I want to again do exactly the same thing so I will connect person equals to person and I want to overwrite good this is added now whenever a new item is created here uh, you will see the rate here and the budget spent will be calculated let's simulate this by updating person so I'll just add me back and you can see matched rate was obtained and budget spent calculation works okay now that we have data here in export we can use them in our dashboards what I would recommend here is to just duplicate this dashboard so that you can compare the new one with the original one the original one is connected to the 7 base time export example but you want you will want to replace this one with the new export that you just did let me maybe make this public so that everyone can see it and now what I need to do is to remove this and use the new export with copied data this dashboard is showing data for eco web board so I need to set up the new filter so in times export oh not this I need to limit this only to uh, to rows where board equals to eco web I will save the filters and most of the work is done uh, then you'll probably want to check the rest of widgets and make sure that the source columns are the correct ones and you can use this uh, original dashboard as a template and make sure that data are correct this is all
thanks for watching and if you have any questions just contact us we'll we will be happy to help thank you and goodbye